yeah, I mean, I'm sure I'm not in the running for Die Hard 7, <laughs> but I'll, I'll live with that. I have never felt closer to mom. I'm in the exact same place that she was all those years ago. You're pregnant. Yeah, I am. <laughs> So uh, 10 years ago, Mamma Mia, the first movie was one of the most successful movies of the year. So what, why did it take so long to do the sequel? I think it took a while because not every story needs an encore, not every film needs a sequel. I think it took quite a long time to find the best way to tell. Everybody wanted to come back. Obviously, you know, commercially the studio wanted it to happen again because the first one had done so well. But more importantly, I think all the actors wanted to come back. Uh, but they all have enough, and ABBA wanted to do it again, but they all have enough integrity and frankly enough money. Uh, to not to do it if it was going to sully the reputation of the first one. Do you know what I mean? It had to be mm -hmm. right. And so they had to be satisfied that it was going to be worth coming back to do. And so um, I think it just took a long time to figure out the best way to tell that story. Yeah, I see. So um, the, the title of the new movie, Mamma Mia, Here We Go, seems like the perfect, obvious title. Thank but you. were there any other uh, contestants in the no, race? No, it was always that. Yeah, that okay. was me. It was the <laughs> first one. I think, I mean, it was always going to be, I think they would see would have called it Mamma Mia 2. Yeah. And I tend not to like sequels with a number. You try and find a slightly wittier way to do it. So it was just, yeah, it was a, that was my very first suggestion. <laughs> yeah. I see, okay. Yeah. Uh, the movie is obviously called Mamma Mia, and it's very much about motherhood. And yes. you're a father, so how did you approach this movie? Uh, did you maybe consult your wife on it? I consult my wife on everything, yeah, <laughs> on all things. And she knows more than I do about absolutely everything. So, yeah, I did, yeah. Um, but I have a very strong mother. And I live with a very strong mother and I have very strong daughters. So, um, yeah. yeah, I didn't have to look too far for advice and support. No. I see. So mm -hmm. uh, when you got the chance uh, to do this movie, was it a no-brainer for you or was there any kind of reluctance? Because when you do a movie like this, you're probably not going to be the front runner for the next Die Hard movie or something like this. No, it was a no-brainer. I mean, because I'm t I, I, I don't worry about that stuff generally. It just I'd rather have fun. I'd rather have a good time and hopefully try and do something that brings happiness to people. And so... Uh, the opportunity for all of this was too great and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure I'm not in the running for Die Hard 7, but I'll, I'll live with that. All right. Um, <laughs> of course, That's I a have really good to, question. So thank you. I have to ask, um, how were you able to get Cher? With enormous, by begging and pleading. <laughs> when you're making a movie, you always have a plan B. When you're casting yeah. a movie, you always know who's next so that when plan A turns you down, you can go straight to plan B. And I wrote the part for Cher nakedly. And we sent it to her, and I refused to contemplate anybody else. And the studio were like, it's time to start thinking about because obviously it took a while because she shared. And the studio were like, you need to start thinking about, you know, who else, and maybe someone, and maybe someone else. I'm like, no, no, it's her. She's going to say yes. <laughs> and in the end, thankfully, uh, she did. Yeah. I see. Mm. Uh, do you, do you, uh, why did you move the set from Greece to Croatia for the second I think movie? for economic reasons, I ah, think, okay. which is an irony because what Greece desperately needs at the moment would be an injection of cash. Yeah. But I don't think, unfortunately, we were able to bring it. But those decisions are way above my pay grade. Yeah, I But see. it was a shame. Um, um, without spoiling anything, there's one scene, a little mm. Titanic reference, and it was is, yeah. probably my favorite scene of oh, the whole okay. movie. Yeah. So I wondered who came up, uh, up with it. Was it a spontaneous thing? No, that or? was me. That was ah, a okay. shameless joke. Colin and Stellan were standing at the front, and it was, I thought about it before. It was a plan. Yeah. And I said, would you mind? They had a disagreement about which one was going to be Leo and which was going to be Kate. <laughs> But apart from that, they were totally up for it. They totally got it. Yeah, I see. Um, but no, I had that in my head already. Okay, mm -hmm. and maybe one last uh, question. Um, <laughs> which is Thank your you personal f uh, favorite song of ABBA? My personal favorite song, I think My Love, My Life. I, I always knew when I got the gig, I thought that would be the last song of the movie and I was never quite sure mm -hmm. what the story was before I knew what the story was or how we'd get there. I just, um, but having seen Cher come down a staircase singing Fernando, I think it's hard to top that one. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so that'll do it. All right, thank you very much. Thank you so much, lovely to meet you. It was a pleasure. Um, yeah. Good luck. Whoa, whoa, mia. You are about to become a great-grandmother. Great-grandmother. I'm living that out of the bio. <laughs> <laughs>